This is Little Holden Aerodrome, just outside Tynmouth in Devon. During the war, it was a training and emergency landing strip, and it was still in use by light aircraft right up to certainly the mid 1960s, possibly the late 1960s, when the landowner's sons used to fly in and out here of here in light aircraft. It's also the site on which I had my first successful flight with a radio control model. That was in 1965, exactly 50 years ago. It was with a mini robot, McGregor single channel radio, and an Elmick Conquest sequential escapement. And what I'm up here to do today is to recreate that flight. And I have here a Veron mini robot with a Cox 049 up front, an Elbic escapement on board, although it's a compound one this time, not a, not a sequential one, uh, and a homemade single channel 35 meg FM set. And we're going to go and fly it. This is the mini robot, and this is a single channel radio. The only control is the rudder, which I'm now going to show you, and it's powered by a rubber band that runs the length of the fuselage. If I press the button once, the rudder goes right. If I release it, it goes back to neutral. If I press it twice, it'll stop at left. And when I release it, it goes back to neutral. So one press for right, two presses for left. Hopefully. Doesn't always work, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, lovely landing! It's, now, it's in one piece. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, dear. That takes you back how many years? Oh, <laughs> nice to know that the compound escapement's just as unreliable as the sequential one. <laughs> There it is, it's all intact, despite the marginal reliability of the escapements. Uh, 50 years on, result.